in this video we're going to create our first live wire component so let's go back to our code vs code here open up the new terminal and before we do anything let us now run this command npm run dev so that we can have have our css loaded next in the command line here let's type a new command in php here make live wire chat dot index all right i already started okay so this will create a new file live wire index this file let me just add something index so we can see what's inside next go to the web the route and in here just down below we're going to create a new route i'm going to call this one chat let me create a name chat.index in here i'm going to call the live wire component a full page component so here chat so here index yeah click enter make sure it's class so now put a semicolon there go back to the browser here if i go to this route chat you see that we have this index file now let us go ahead and start designing the chat index so let's go back there let me close this close that and then i'm going to call the index in here I'll create a class and let me mention right now what we're going to create here i'll add the code the full code complete code for this lesson you know, in the resources or the description so make sure to check and download if you don't want to type all this you don't have to type all this just you know for the sake of those who don't really like who are new to tailwind we can just follow through the code as i type but if you don't want to type through this no problem and you can just copy the code and paste it in your in your in your vs code from the resources right here it's going to be a fixed your height let's make it full flex background white i'm going to add a border you know we're going to say large shadow overflow hidden inset zero a large top let's make this 16 all right let me just zoom this then large inset x full because like we don't want it to be full with it on like on the large screens medium auto large and we want to reduce the height to like 90 percent so that we can accommodate for the top you know navigation a large the height you're going to use arbitrary values he add 90%. Alright, and rounded. Yeah, make sure it's like that. And rounded. Large. Okay. So now if you go back to the browser, you see that we have something here. I don't know if you can see, but we have something like that. And then next we're gonna design the left side and the right side. So now like in the left side here, we're going to design the chat list, and then on the right side, oh, like we're gonna have the conversation. So here let's create another div here with the class you know, relative width for this is for the small screens and then on the large screens on the medium we'll make the width 320 pixels in the large actually on the x large make the width 400 pixels here overflow y auto shrink zero height full yes awesome so like right now just to see what's going on i can just put a border i'll just put a border here so now if you go back you see that we have something on the left side here. Yeah, that will be a chat list. Now let us go ahead and design our wire conversation will be class. Let me zoom in. Now we can start typing this. Like I said before, like you don't have to type through all this. You can just copy the code. Here, grid. Let's make a full width here. Border, left, height, full, relative. Oh, make sure it's relative here. here overflow, Y, auto. And then here we're going to add a style. The style is going to contain the, like we're going to contain the content. Here, content contain so here, so here it's supposed to be contain yeah contain content not content contain yes the reason for this uh, contain content is because this is going to going to create this this element as its own you know dome structure so that even if we have a fixed element inside here a fixed element it's not gonna go to the body no it's just gonna be contained in this element that's why we're using this uh contain content like that if you see here indicates that an elements are as possible independent of the rest of the document tree yes in here i'll just add uh, conversation for now in here let me just add one more thing create a class let's make this margin auto text center justify center flex here flex call gap three and here we're gonna have this h4 font medium text large click enter sorry tab here choose a com we're gonna just write something choose a conversation to start chatting all right now if we go back yeah now so you have this centered element inside here and i type 
yes now choose a conversation to start chatting so this is the structure of our chat layout so yes see you in the next video we're gonna design the chat list here on this side so thank you